Choose wisely, chat. Choose wisely. No, I don't want to snooze. I need to wake my ass up. No, just get up. I don't want to snooze. Wake up. Okay, this is how this is this is how you fall back asleep forever. Superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. No time has passed. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Make bed. We did. We did. We made the bed. We're not. We're not a monster. I mean, I don't know why we made it. We're just gonna mess it up again. Fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Water our plant this time. No, it's already. Oh. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. There, we, we watered our plant, chat, that I didn't know that we had. Not gonna lie. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. It's literally right there. You could just put it on. What do you mean? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Courtney, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. 
Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Is that is that our job? Is to literally help her dodge things hitting her in the head? Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max, that's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I Bra just have a wow. sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I love the idea of going back in time to fix mistakes in Groundhog Day. <laughs> I barely want to go forward in time, much less go backward. I hear you, but... It's all about the choices you make now. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Really? Really? You, you really? You don't? You, you don't know? You, you haven't realized it yet? Or are you just playing naive? Oh, this is gonna be fucking awkward. Yeah, this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. Uh, it's not true. Uh, I wanted to help, uh, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Yes, I do. Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Is that, is that really, like, okay. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Oh. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it.
Your shirt's you're still wet. You didn't dry off and you just put clothes on? What is wrong with you? I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Why are you, why are we? Oh, water! Sorry, I forgot. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Fair enough. Yep, dirty clothes she wore before showering. Yep. Really, Uni? No, I do not. I do not. Could be fun. Well, thanks for the warning. She did. We had a bag. We had a we had a bag, Hellhound. Like we picked up a uh, a bag for doing all that stuff. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. What the fuck? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. No book here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Why would you put fix this fast? Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. What's up, hearts? How are you? Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even. I'm doing great. Them. I'm doing great. I don't know, Uni. Now I, I can don't know. Finally, take this back to Kate before I'm late. Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Why are we knocking on her door? I, I don't really know. Oh, wow. Shit. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Jeez. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. 
almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Aww. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Ouch. She left out damnation. That is the cutest bunny ever. Oh, that's so nice of you I to say Kate about is a me. Good mommy. So nice of you to Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Oh, jeez. Um, this is some hey darkness, Kate, chat. I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Hey, Doc. She got drugged. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Yeah, they roofied her. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Fucking Nathan Prescott, of course. Of course it's fucking Nathan Prescott, chat. Nathan Prescott? It's always oh, Nathan shit. Prescott. He was being nice I hate for this a little change dick. when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Yeah. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 and? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. Yeah. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Yeah, the underbelly of this school is fucking terrible, chat. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me 
or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Fuck, why would you ask me this kind of question? I don't know how dark this gets either. Okay, okay. If she... Oh man, I don't know. I think we need proof, chat. I think we need actual proof. I think we need proof before if we go to the that, police. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Okay, you asked my fucking opinion. Don't get mad at me when I give it to you. I understand you're hurting. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Like, I, like you asked me my opinion. You can't get pissed off when I give it to you. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? What's going on, Emily? How are you? I'm doing great. I hope you are well. All right, what's what what's what's on the agenda now? Max dot 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 food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Okay. I'm just gonna walk into your room. Don't mind me. I'm gonna look in your garbage for this some both fucking sad reason. And pathetic. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Yeah, that's 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 birth control. We yes, it is birth control. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Just don't mind me, I'm just... Oh. Hello, Juliet. Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Hello, Juliet. I did not know you were here. I'm going to speak to Dana first after I look at this that stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Hello, Juliet. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Yep, you Thanks should. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Yes, you should. Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Yeah, we just put you in your Hi, place. Nina. How are you? Much better than yesterday. 
I'm glad we talked. Me too. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. Yeah, you're good. By the way, I saw that, the best Emily. and biggest news yeah, of the good. day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween show. I'm shindig. glad you're doing well. That's awesome, Dana. At uh, least we're oh, showing you our could faces pull it? together. No, in that public. was Doc. Uh, so you absolutely should go I was on live chat today us. on Bath Borrow and Body one of my Works outfits website, and, and they said they built a Bath and Body Works born. outlet in my area, mm, I'm and not they will send big on cosplay. a feedback. Don't let life pass you by, Max. Interesting. Are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Let's do Why it. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my that party future. That is awesome. Future. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Let's leave. Go get breakfast. Hey, Brooke. Oh. oh hi, Max. That's why Brooke was being snooty to us. That's Did right, because Brooke yesterday? likes Warren, and Warren likes by that us. Weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Uh, I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you wow. around. Wow. You can just hear. You can just hear the venom in her voice. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. You can just hear the venom in her voice when she says that, chat. Welcome to Black Hill. Like, oh, Black I'm Hill sure he's going to find but you. It sure feels like a labyrinth. Do we like Warren in Samuel that kind of way? I, I don't know. But he is great like, at cleaning up. I don't know if she does, but she's being very naive, thinking that he doesn't like her that way, because, like, it's obvious that he does, and she knows it. Oh, God, chat. Oh, no. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Oh, no. Samuel's a murderer. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Because he's a murderer. Ah, there's Samuel, up early. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool Murder. animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. He's oh, just a little different, but I don't think he's a murderer. That's a animal. Nothing weird there, except you saw yours. Could be a sign of I don't know. destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So... What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Squirrel hype. Another message from the earth to get our just shit like, together. Just like another murder would be all Samuel about squirrels. Seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Wow. I don't want to fight with you. Maybe not be a bitch, or Victoria. Victoria, or instead what, of Taylor? smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? 
She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. do and she's one of the best friends you could have. Do you? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Um. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm oh. not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Okay. 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 That's that's a positive way to use our powers, chat. That's a very positive way to use our powers. Wow. Max, wow. Check it out. Look who Warren it is. is. out and about already, too. Looks like Warren. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. My man just got a date. Oh God. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Bus driver's a murderer. I'm just going to assume everybody's a murderer, chat. <laughs> I don't know. Your technique? Maybe. Don't you know that? You're a murderer. Murderer until proven innocent, Spunky. Yeah, very true. Very true, little boo boo. Inside, 
Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lot. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. What? I'm sorry, what? We. No, we got off of the Blackwell Academy transportation. I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. <sighs> But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Okay. What is this? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. There, we just read it. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts Fucking have a Prescotts, lot of power. Chat. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind, but I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Hello, random hipster. How are you? How far around the city can we... Like, you know what I really like about this chat is that... Excuse me, sir. The city feels Can you alive. Believe this town. The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. Mm -hmm. I keep reading okay. how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, yeah, he's kind of a dick. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? I don't like that guy, you're a jerk. Snow, well, that's a good start to the story. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry I'm missing girl is such a problem for you to read, sir. I know. Man, that smell of breakfast. Oh, oh that brings back memories. Oh, chat. Chloe and I chat, love this the is, parade. This is like heaven right here. Give me Good an old Lord. diner with that Talk smell of bacon and sausage and pancakes. Oh, some fried eggs. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. 
Oh, fucking grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a hand for you. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I feel like I should go outside and look at the creepy RV before we eat, chat. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Huh. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, 
I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Hmm. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Pancakes. What? What is this bullshit? Waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Yes, ma'am. Waffle with One a bacon Belgian omelet and so. girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. I mean, chat. Belgian waffle and fried fish? Like, I like chicken and waffles, chat. I love some good southern chicken and waffles. I don't know about waffles and fish, though. But I guess I would need to try it before I knocked it. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I love the delish anticipation of breakfast. Why is that guy creepily looking at us? This is like fourth us? dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had nerd fun. graffiti. Warren must have been here. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. 
Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Shit, chat. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't All forget right. anything. Panda. So there's a panda there. Or is that a panda or is that a cow? I don't know. It looks like a cow. Cigarettes. Eighty-six cents. And a ticket. Nine twenty-one thirteen ten thir okay. Alright, let's Let's try this again, chat. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car key. Duh, way too easy. So it's a panda, right? A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, shit. Chad, I didn't count the cigarettes. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 1047, right? It was 1034. 1034 AM. Booyah, Max can tell time. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about I what love a good happened. diner chat. You have to show me more. To Something way now. cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens oh, in the next my few life. moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Wave. Oops. Oh. Did you break another cup? A cup really? just broke. No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. 
I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see wait, what happens. Wait, she doesn't beat them. That's not what I meant to say. The jukebox goes crazy. I don't, as I, I fucked up. I fucked up, chat. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. Oh, let's just let. Hold on. I'm right. going to predict. The trucker dr So what happens next? The cop gets in him. Well, let's just see how. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. I don't remember the jukebox chat. Do you guys remember the jukebox? What happened? I guess we'll just find out. The jukebox go pretty bizarre. I think that the jukebox is the only thing that I'm like questionable about. Hi. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. You bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Cockroach. Cockroach. It's a cockroach chat. Fuck. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. All right, one more time. One more time. I'm going to. Trucker drops his mug. Trucker drop. So what happened? His partner leaves. The cop. Well, let's just. Justin. And this is getting good. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. There we go. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would Wow. Know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. 
You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. They didn't finish they so didn't finish their food. They school, girl? you know. They school. were full, maybe. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him Justin's blazed. literally he sitting cool. right there. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. Fucking Justin is class, literally si sitting right there while we're talking about him. It's fucking awkward. Okay. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Oh, okay. Well, that... Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Are you f I'm gonna assume she's supposed to be Canadian, chat. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. I'm just... You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Thank you, redneck poet. Dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. All right, let's go. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and things to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Hey, what's Chat up, Coffee? Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. <sighs> fuck. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. What I it, swear. What it might not. Just do your homework and don't stress. What? Do, I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? What? What am I not for? Shit, Chad, I forgot. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Uh, I think uh, I think Chloe has abandonment issues, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Chloe has some abandonment issues. Not gonna lie. Her one best friend leaves for five years, who we are, and doesn't contact her. Her other best friend that then came into the picture is missing. Her dad died. So, yeah, I think she has some clinginess right? and abandon abandonment hey, issues. Bob, how many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust. 
my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a well, bit. Well, he's got issues. She's broken. She's a broken okay, person. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. She's just, you she's can broken. Handle it. She's now got- go find us five bottles, pretty please. I, I, I understand where she's coming from. Is she being an adult and handling it the best way? No, but she's only 18. I don't want to go that way. So it makes sense. Yeah, I know. That's, I mean, like, like I said, I, I understand, but she's handling it in a really immature way, but she is only 18. Bottle. 18 is old enough to act better. Yeah, for some. Definitely for some. Not for everyone, though. That's how I always look. Like, I. I Maybe I, I can use know. this to reach the bottle. Well, yeah, that was the. That's the whole point. Why well, I moved it. Hello, one. bottle number one. One more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. I guess we could. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. This was an old school punk shirt. Yep. It's just, it's one of those things where everybody, everybody. Handles things very differently. Is the go the, the deer is a ghost. We just took a picture of a ghost deer. I can literally see through this deer. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Hmm. Finding a lot of non bottles. I wonder chat. if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oh. Boom. Mm. Only three bottles left. I don't want to go that way. Okay, well, I wasn't really hoping you did.
he he's asking you out on a date. Like, do you Thanks not get this? Do you not understand that he's asking you out on a date? I don't think she understands this, chat. This is the scariest thing here. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. You had to pop in on the bottle search? I'm so triggered. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this the worst? This Fucking... looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. Why does it hurt? I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Oh, hey, there's a bottle, chat. Look at that. Three down, two more to go. Ouch. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Chat, when did this want game come her, out? I was here. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. It's really that old? They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. Oh. Oh, 2015? Okay. All this rusted metal makes me feel Your birthday serene. month? Am I morbid or just goth? Maybe a little bit of both. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Why would we think about that? Oh, great. Chat. Oh, gross. So nice. disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Yeah, it happens. Those shells look fresh. It happens. Okay. Chloe, how about get Way off your ass and, I thought. and help Ugh. me? Chloe, get off your ass and help me. One more bottle to go. Sorry, Max, to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Okay, that is not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend in these waters. I'm on your side. Wow. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time.
Okay, one more bottle. Didn't Chloe have a bottle? Oh, shit. The Bigfoots were here. Chloe, don't you have the fifth bottle? Like... I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No way. No way. I still don't even know how my power works or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic, boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Oh, I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Is there? You know that? You you just you just know that. Because you were here when you were 13 and now you just know that. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. One bottle, chat. We need one bottle next to a fire pit. I guess. to go that way I don't want to go that way I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here well then tell me where it's at Those shells look fresh. Yeah, yeah, now I understand the nightmare. Yes. Nope, I don't want to go there. Am I just blind, chat? Bunny blind? Is this like a bunny blind moment? There's a bonfire spot where people party around Max. here. Max. I get that. But where? I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars.
All of this is blocked off. All of it. Like, am I just that blind right now that I just don't see this stupid bonfire? I don't want to go that way. Oh my gosh. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst. Chloe, can you fucking help me, please? I know there's a bonfire spot. Oh my god, Max. Max, I get it. We know that. All right, calm down. Nope, I don't want to go there. Well, where do you want to go, Max? Where do you want to go? Because I have ran around this area three times looking for this bottle. Oh, found it, chat. Found it. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Found it. I found it. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. We found it, chat. We did it. Thanks, Max. Here's one bottle. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. What, what do you mean? I need to see you shoot first. Show me the- Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. I aim. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, I, 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 so I, I want know. one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, uh, I need a target before I shoot. Oh, fuck, chat. 
Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Fuck my life. Step back. Gas tank go <laughs> boom. Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Yeah, that's a bad idea, chat. Dude, I put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. Oh! Jesus, I sh shot myself! Oh shit! I oh, shot shit. myself! Rewind! Back up, Re back up. gun! Hold on, Chloe. Oh shit! <laughs> we're just Dude, I need a target. We're just I cool shoot. with this now? For the left tire. We're just cool. Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. <laughs> we were going for a trick shot. I can't believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh, God. Stupid gun. I love how we like rewound time and everybody should like she was just cool like oh shit. I didn't see you just shoot yourself while I rewound time. You freaked me out there. You could have died. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just Give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. Glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. How did she get the power? Um. Hey. We don't know. Stelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. What's up, minion? How are you? <laughs> uh, there's one shot left in the gun. If this is a six shooter, we fired five shots, right? That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Huh. Sorry. 
Huh. Uh -huh. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. I don't. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this chat. Should we have pulled the trigger? Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Gone. He won't fuck Adrian with Lynn, us thank again. you so much for that follow. I he appreciate that. Money. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time and your Jesus, stay. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Do we rewind, chat? Do we, do we, do we rewind and create a ripple in time here? Maybe we do. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Yeah, nice I piece. know, Absent. I know. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Oh, fuck. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Fuck. You uh, really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Um... Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair. I don't know. I feel like this today. might have been. This is. This might Frank be the better gone. choice. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. I don't know. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Uh huh. Wow, huh. sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. No, th this is fine. This, Chloe's th waiting to go. This for is a fine. Walk. We both need a timeout from here. No, nah, we're 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 okay with this. This is this is how the events have unfolded. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. Okay, are we okay? You're you bitching at me about this. Me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. Wow, Chloe. I just liked having that gun, man. Wow, stop being a fucking child. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? Why are we Feels laying we on train tracks? What are we doing? Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out what are, we need a new secret hangout the, do not lay on train tracks are you okay max i'm still freaked out about what happened that was awful chloe i'm sorry but frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts all he cares about is his cash stash and mangy thought. i mean of chloe, all the stupid stuff that we've done this frank is the just dumbest took thing the gun and threatened us he's armed and clearly dangerous max i know Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash. That's all. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I, I, how the fuck would I know? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. 
We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? Yes. You're not that different. Can you get off she had, of the train tracks? has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Really, Kerouac do they? Knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Are oh, you shit? Are you joking? What? Oh my god, we can't rewind time. We can't go back that far. What do we do? Awesome. It's not locked. Uh, look. Come on. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Fuck. Hurry. Okay. I can't even move it an inch. Please get me out of here. I, I'm trying to calm down, please. I can definitely use this bad boy. Can we? Uh oh. <gasps> Score. I'm. Tr Chloe, you yelling is not helping right now, okay? Get me out of here. I, I'm fucking, I'm trying, calm down. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. We got all the time in the world. You're fine. I can rewind time. Please get me out of here. Damn, something is blocking the drum. <sighs> what what were we hoping to do here? What are we doing here? I don't know. I don't... Now I can finally move the drum. Okay. I got splinters in my ass and legs, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Maybe. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Maybe we should rewind cool and not time in your lair, do it so violently, chat. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I feel like that was a terrible choice. Maybe I shouldn't have broke it that way. Maybe we should have cut the wires. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. 
Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course yeah. of my destiny, yeah. force, and whoever. I know. Do you know about chaos theory? Oops. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Aw. Oh, wondering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like if I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. It's the invasion of the Vortex Club. I love I love that like the Vortex Club. Oh, yeah. I need to talk to you, asshole. Oh, What's going on? Hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Yeah, what is wrong with you? Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. What? Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. You're I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Wow. Wow chat what a great principle you can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards hello zach sup max it's weird to not see you without your camera i'm yeah. always taking pictures with my eyes i bet as long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. Like, what does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hello. Oh, can I not talk to you, murderers? Murder guy? Okay. Oh, it's Courtney. Do I really want to talk hey, to Courtney. you, Courtney? Ciao, Sorry. Max. Ciao. No photos, please. Ciao, Max. I have Max. to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I, I don't. You're I fucking right. don't. I don't. <laughs> Making my guest list easier. Ciao. <laughs> like, like, I, I, like, let's just be honest. I Trevor don't care. His domain. Sup, 
Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I He's wouldn't not care a at murderer. all. When I was her age, Dad I was out raising a lot sorry, more hell. Little boo -boo. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Oh, oh, we're about to make, uh, we're about to make, uh, Brooke jealous. We need a brain. Think, brain. Think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. Have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Tassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go Tassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hand. Asking me for help? I have to add either a. Lots of potassium? I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Bring me the brain. Well, let's go talk to Brooke. Brooke, maybe stop playing with your you fucking Brooke? drone Hi, and talk to him. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. What's that, Stormy? My nature? Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium Don't be experiment. jealous. Don't be no jealous. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Okay. How is your drone? Miss hmm. Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Wow. Awkward. Awkward chat. This is very... Oh, you got your Twix shake? Uh, yeah. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Don't... 
Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. Yeah, sure. You look What's worried. Up? Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. Mm. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. The school's haunted, chat. The school's haunted. Did you guys see that door just open and close by itself? Make me beautiful, Hayden. Boke. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn left. Then I'm kind of doing something now, left. Max. You look like ass. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us. No to time to talk, Max. Art like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like any... Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Yeah, just a little bit. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I rewinding? Okay, what? Oh. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> she, <laughs> it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. 
Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at them. Okay, wow, Selves. that's pretty fucking dark. Okay. We can thank reality TV for some of that. Don't drown end, it, but don't forget to water it. We can for participating. Shit. Speaking I guess we're doing good then? There are a few souls here who have yet to win her photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Yep, yeah, great, that's me. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Yep. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Mm -hmm. Although mm -hmm. we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girls' dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever I guess again. Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Oh, God. Dismissed. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, chat. I have a really bad... I, I have a really bad feeling. See that? Is this for real? It flipped out! I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh, shit. Oh shit, chat. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Kate, Kate, Kate. Don't do this. No, 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 no. I have to do something to help. Not again. Not now. No, 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 no. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Just. We got this. We can do this, chat. No, we can save her. But how? Keep going, Max. You can do it. Got this. We can do this. We can do this, chat. We froze time now. Yes. I know. I hate Victoria so much. She's filming it. No, 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 no. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself did you come to get another pulitzer shot like yesterday max i only wanted proof that david was harassing you more like you wanted another shot for the max caulfield scrapbook you want another now huh no Please, Kate, you know me better than that. And I know you don't want to jump. But I do. My life is already over. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. 
Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good, we all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max, but God put me on this roof. Oh shit, oh shit. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. Fuck you! I don't believe in anything anymore. No, no, no! That was the one she had crossed out, chat. We should have gone with the other one. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? 
or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> Without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No, no, I'm good with this. I'm good with this chat. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Yeah, I hate Nathan, Nathan I just Prescott. I can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel the that fuck? too. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I 